At his North Carolina rally, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump unleashed a barrage of attacks against his new opponent, Vice President Kamala Harris. Trump called Harris a new victim to defeat and accused her of deceiving the public about President Joe Biden's ability to run for a second term. Now, Trump opened his speech by claiming that Biden quit the race because he was losing so badly in the polls. The former president then went on to attack Harris and describe the vice president as the most liberal politician ever elected in American history. You're not going to have a country left. So now we have a new victim to defeat, Lion Kamala Harris, Lion, L-Y-I-N apostrophe. The most incompetent and far left vice president in American history. By the way, they did a poll. She was rated the worst vice president in history. I've never seen that poll before, but that's the poll. Together, we will win North Carolina in an epic landslide. We're way ahead in the poll. He also raised the politically explosive issue of abortion after Harris pledged to put abortion rights at the center of her campaign and to fight for the right to control one's own body. Do you know this, right? A word called what? Abortion. She's a radical, crazy person. When you compare my position on abortion to that of Kamala Harris, my position is eight points higher in the polls, and that's because she is so radical. She wants abortions in the eighth and ninth month of pregnancy. That's fine with her. Right up until birth, and even after birth, the execution of a baby. Because that's not abortion, that's the execution of a baby. North Carolina is a swing state that Trump has carried in the past, but Democrats have seen as pivotal. The former president's stop in North Carolina shows his concern about keeping the state in his column this November. And this comes even as his team reaches for wins in traditionally Democratic-leading states like Minnesota. Trump is set to visit Minnesota on Saturday. Trump's address comes as Harris is hitting the campaign trail, armed with President Joe Biden's endorsement. Interestingly, a Reuters Ipsos poll showed Harris with a marginal 2 percentage point lead over Trump, with 44 percent to 42 percent. Furthermore, a CNN poll conducted by SSRS showed Trump leading Harris 49 percent to 46 percent. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.